Want to know how to have more energy without coffee? We all have those moments where we're just exhausted. Whether it's because you didn't sleep well and got woken up multiple times, or you've just hit that midday slump that naturally occurs because of your circadian rhythm, there's no doubt about it. You need more energy in order to be productive and focus on the task at hand. The typical reaction in this scenario is just to reach for more caffeine. You pour yourself yet another cup of coffee or gulp down an energy drink or soda, praying you can just get through the rest of your day. Let me know in the comments if any of this sounds like you. But what if you could boost your energy naturally so that the caffeine didn't leave you crashing a few hours later or interfere with your quality of sleep at the end of the day? That's exactly what I want to share with you. Here are five ways to have more energy without coffee. Number one is to eat an apple. Did you know that apples are scientifically shown to wake you up more than coffee? The natural sugars in an apple provoke a similar effect as caffeine, but unlike coffee, come with no side effects. No jitters, no racing heartbeat, no anxiety, no sudden crash at the end, because the glucose is slowly released into the bloodstream as you digest it. The burst of energy lasts about as long as it takes your body to metabolize the apple, but then has a more smooth bell curve instead of an abrupt drop in energy level, like when the caffeine from coffee or an energy drink wears off. Number two is to drink a bunch of water. So many people don't realize that dehydration is one of the biggest causes of tiredness, lethargy, and fatigue. Your body needs water all day long to operate, and by the time you even feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated. The solution is to drink water throughout the day, keeping sugary or alcoholic beverages to a minimum. Any water is great, but since most tap water systems contain high amounts of chemicals and contaminants, purified water is even better. If you're short on time or always on the go, having pre-packaged water bottles helps ensure you keep your daily water intake where it should be. Even though using plastic isn't ideal for your health or the environment, the ease of being able to grab a water bottle and go can be a real lifesaver. Number three is to do some targeted breathing exercises like the breath of fire. You can totally do it at your desk or in the car, but the ideal scenario is to sit up tall in a cross-legged position, relax your shoulders, place your hands on your knees with your palms facing the ceiling, or you can put your hands on your diaphragm to feel your belly rise and fall. Inhale through your nose, letting your belly expand, then immediately exhale forcefully through your nose while contracting your abs. Repeat for a couple of minutes, letting your body get into a good rhythm. Really focus on the expansion and contraction of your ab muscles as you do this. The more you do it, the easier and more natural it will become and the greater benefits you will reap. The breath of fire is shown to boost concentration and enhance mindfulness while relieving stress, supporting respiratory function, improving digestion, strengthening ab muscles, and more. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried it or are going to give it a try now. Number four is to take a power nap. Now, as a busy working mom, I know this isn't always possible, but if your schedule and life situation permits, give yourself a few minutes to lie down and rest. The important thing here is to nap for no more than 20 minutes so that your mind and body get a chance to relax, but you don't enter into a deep sleep phase that would just leave you even more groggy than you were and could interrupt your night's sleep later. Number five is the best of them all. That is to move your body. Whether it's just standing up at your desk and stretching or actually getting outside for a walk, any action that moves your limbs and gets your blood pumping throughout your body releases the feel-good, energizing hormones you need to feel alert and alive again. I'm a huge fan of my Fitbit that tells me if I've been sitting too long and reminds me to get up and move throughout the day. All right, those are five ways to get more energy without coffee. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which of these tips you are gonna try next, and then make sure and subscribe for two videos a week on planning, prioritizing, productivity, time management, and that elusive thing we call work-life balance. I love sharing action
actionable strategies to help you do more and stress less. Until next time, have a great day. Let me know in the comments which of these five apps to try tomorrow value out of these tips if you get them.